Hi everyone, this is Dr. Manu Krishnan Ke. Welcome you all to another session on Learn It While You Draw It series. Today we'll be discussing about an important topic in anatomy that is the dorsal venous arch. So as you all know, here we have the demonstration or like an illustration depicting the dorsum of the hand. I know half of you can draw it better than me. So just pardon me for the bad sketching here. Here you can see the dorsal aspect of the hand where this side will be the medial one and this side will be the lateral one. So let's discuss how the dorsal venous arch is formed. So here I'm trying to depict the dorsal venous arch as a simple arch that is formed on the dorsum of the hand. So you can see a simple arch is formed here that we call it as the dorsal venous arch which is having a medial end. This is the medial end that is nothing but the basilic vein. And we have a lateral end that is nothing but the cephalic vein or cephalic vein. So these are the two end points. Now let's see which all tributaries are joining to this particular arch to form the dorsal venous arch. So we'll begin from the fingers. So the, from the clefts of these adjacent three fingers, there will be one, two and three dorsal metacarpal veins. So these three are considered to be the dorsal metacarpal veins and they receive tributaries from the adjacent sides of here when we consider the first dorsal metacarpal which is in the thumb side, we can see the first proper digital like here, this proper digital will come down and join with the dorsal metacarpal vein from the adjacent two fingers, that is nothing but the medial aspect of index finger and the lateral aspect of the middle finger. Similarly, from the medial aspect of middle finger and the lateral aspect of ring finger, another two proper digitals will come and join with the dorsal metacarpal veins. And one from the medial aspect of the ring finger and one from the lateral aspect of the ring, little finger. So this is how the three dorsal metacarpal veins are formed and they will be joining to form the dorsal venous arch. Along with these three, we have another three branches or three tributaries. You should not tell it as branches, tributaries. So the one that is coming from the thumb side, we have two proper digitals coming from the either aspect of the thumb and one from the radial aspect of index finger, one proper digital directly going to form the dorsal venous arch. And finally, one more tributary that is coming from the medial aspect of the little finger. And together, these six tributaries will join to form the arch that is called as the dorsal venous arch. So here you can see the dorsal venous arch is formed by the three dorsal metacarpal veins, one, two, three, and two dorsal are like proper digital veins, which are coming from the thumb, one and two, and one from the med lateral aspect of the index finger, and one from the medial aspect of the little finger. And together they form the arch, that is nothing but the dorsal venous arch. And the medial end of dorsal venous arch continues as the basilic vein. And uh, the lateral one will form the cephalic vein. And they will continue upwards along the forearm and arm respectively. So this is how the dorsal venous arch is formed. Thank you.